Also one of those traditional times to break out the barbecue grill. But when it's really hot, backyard chefs using propane need to take an extra look at the storage tank. Liam Garrity talked to firefighters about staying safe and keeping those tanks from leaking or exploding. This is video of multiple propane tank explosions in Marshfield from a few years ago. Firefighters say if you're not careful, this could happen in high temperatures. We do train on uh, propane-related incidents and propane tanks um, in case the relief valve has popped and they you know, are actually on fire. Grant Peters is the assistant fire chief with Logan Rogersville Fire Protection District. He says you're more likely to see a leak in the high heat. If you ever encounter a propane leak or anything, it's call 911 um, and then evacuate that area. Peters says you can spot a propane tank leak. You'll smell it first. Um, sometimes you can hear it. It'll have like a, a hissing sound of some sort. Peters says if you have a leak, also call the company who made the propane tank. He says in the high temperatures, take your propane tanks out of the sun. In the shade, out of the sun, um, is the best area. Uh, if you, you know, we obviously don't want to bring these inside. You want to keep them outside in a well-vented area. Peter says you don't want to keep propane tanks in your garage in case of gas leaks. And remember, if you hear or see a leak, leave and immediately call 911. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Liam Garrity. Firefighters also say the same goes for gasoline canisters. Do not keep them indoors or in your garage. They need to be outside so they can ventilate.